I got Nerv Shabbos Parsha Shlach. I'd like to share a beautiful Dvar Torah from Rabbi Yaman Kohn Shlita of the Mir Yeshiva. In this week's Parsha, we have the Chet of the Meraglim, the Sin of the Meraglim, which basically was Lashon Hara, right? They gossiped about Eretz Yisrael. And Rashi, in the beginning of our Parsha, explains the relationship of the end of last week's Parsha, which discusses the Chet of Miriam, the Sin of Miriam. She spoke Lashon Hara about her brother, and they. The Meraglim, the spies in our parsha, did not take the message. They didn't take the message. They didn't take Musr from what they just saw. Why didn't they take Musr from such a thing? Because they didn't have the Ratzon. They didn't have the Ratzon. They didn't have the desire. When a person has a Ratzon, a desire to do something, to look for good, they'll find the good. Since the spies did not possess the desire to go into Eretz Yisrael, they weren't looking for Musr. They weren't looking to learn from what was going on. They didn't look to learn from Miriam. In order for a person to take Musr and to learn from a situation, we need to be desiring to learn. I want to share two wild stories. One story is that there was a Friday night in the town of Sanz, where Chaim Sanzer, the great tzaddik, was the rug. And it was snowing outside, and there's, there's, there was one year who had a baby boy, the Mikra Shalom Zachar. And Rechaim, the Rav, Rechaim signs are new, and no one's going to go to the Shalom Zachar Friday night. So the, the streets are piled high. He's walking to the other end of town because this shoemaker was making a Shalom Zachar, and Rechaim knew he, nobody else was going to show up. So he walks with Mesira Snafesh, high snow, he's going to go to the Shalom Zachar. He walks in, he realizes he's right, nobody else showed up. Table is set, there's Arbis, there's Lachayim, there's Schnapps, there's beer, whatever. Chaim comes in, he wishes the new father Mazel Tov, they drink some Lachayim. And the shoemaker turns to Reb Chaim Sanzer and he says, You know, I know you're a big Talmud Chacham rabbi, but I never realized you're such a drinker. You're such a Baltaiva. You came all the way in the snow just to drink a little bit of Schnapps with me. I find that fascinating. That's the story. Another time, another story, someone met a wagon driver who used to travel from Lezhensk, and he asked him if he has any stories to tell him about the Nayam Ali Melech. The wagon driver says, yeah, I have one story. You know, one time I parked my horse and buggy, and it was stolen. I didn't know what to do. I lost all my parnasa. People advised me to go to the local rabbi, go to the rabbi, Nayam Ali Melech. I went to the Nayam Ali Melech. I went to the Nayam Ali Melech. And he, uh, you know, he thinks for a little bit and he says to me, you know, go to the end of town and make a right. You'll find your horse tied to a tree. And that's exactly what happened. So the listener is listening to this wagon driver. He says, no, no, did you become a chassid of the name of the Melech? Guys, uh, uh, t- tell you the truth, you know, I don't think the rabbi himself stole it, but he, he certainly hooked up with the thieves. He, he certainly hooked up over there. <laughs> what do you see with these two stories? A person sees what he's looking to see. If you want to see greatness in a person, you want to see the greatness of Reb Chaim Sanzer, you'll see the guy, <laughs> the Reb Chaim, trekked in the snow just to do chesed for another year. But no, this year, you know what he you know what he sees? He doesn't see Musi. He doesn't take any messages. He says, oh, look, somebody's going to drink schnapps. The Nayim Ali Melech. Same thing. Part of a robbers because he knows where it is. Look at the Ruach HaKadosh. Look what's going on. What's your deal? It all depends on what you want to see. When we see things in life, when we notice things and it irritates us or we view it negatively, we should think again and change our mindset and remind ourselves to take Musr, to view things in a positive way and to see not how am I going to view this negatively, but how can I take this situation to allow it to impact my life in a positive way Have a wonderful, wonderful Shabbos.